Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you how to create this double C look ring with the Rhino 3D software quickly. Are you ready? Let's get started. When we work on the ring like this, it's always separated from the top part to the bottom part. And then in this ring, we are going to creating the shape first. And then we will extrude it, pulling difference into get the shape on the top and then we're creating the bottom. So that's starting from the scratch. That's starting with the front view and we wanted to draw a basic ring size. And let's go ahead to use the circle command, snapping into the zero. And let's type it diameter for 16. And we want to create the profile for this ring. So let's go ahead to use the arc tool and we want to snapping into the zero, decide what is the size that you want for the ring. Uh, and I always like to have it taper. So what I do is I pick up the arc and on the bottom three of the control point, I just move it up a little bit. Make sure that this, you don't want to have it less than 1.5 millimeter. That will be too thin. The second things I wanted to do is make a gentle curve. Here on the bottom, I wanted to gray snap it on. You can click on the bottom and then we're going to use the arc and let's go ahead to snapping about right here and also right here and just go up a really gentle curve right there okay and to continue from this end point to this end point we're gonna coming into the curve and you can extend the curve and you want to extend it from arc to the point all right so we're gonna extend it here and snapping to this point and extend it here snapping to this point it look like it basically is the straight line and uh, it may not be 100% straight, but it's pretty straight there. Okay. All right. So then we get the profile. Now that's coming into the top and that's decided how wide we want this ring to have. So I'm going to snapping about six millimeter wide and roughly something like that. All right. So this is the area I'm going to have that double C right there. All right. So let's go ahead to use the art again. And we want to snapping anywhere from here and go in this arc there. We're going to do it again anywhere from here, coming back here. All right. So you can make the intersect a little bit more. We don't need to have a grease snap now. So I'm just uncheck it and then we'll do something like this. And depends on where you want them to be. You can have it more off side or this is always closer. All right. So now we have this one right here. I'm going to pick up all of this and let's go ahead to trim something off. We're going to use the trim command. We're going to get rid of here, get rid of here, get rid of here. So then we get this shape right here. Make sure you join them. All right. So now let's take a look on the top. Uh, as you can see, it's like a fragment everywhere because when we are working on the top, not necessarily they are on the same plane, right? So what you wanted to do is you want to pick up all of this and we want to be on the top view and use the command for projected to C plane and we want to did it input. So now you can see on my perspective, they are flat. Let's go ahead to join them. All right. So once you join that, you're going to see that you have this piece right here. And we also wanted to creating the middle is empty. So I'm going to pick up this one and just going to do the offset. And I want to offset about maybe two millimeter right there. And that is one. And you can see I have this point right here. I actually don't like it. So actually I'm going to do it freehand and see if it's coming better. Let me did it this one. Again, we want to grease snap it on. Let's go ahead to use the arc and we're going to snap in about right here and about right here. And that's where the opening is, right? You can have them coming a little bit closer. All right. Depends on your design. All right. And then I'm going to draw the straight line, go from here straight coming out, going again, straight coming out, right? And then let's go ahead to pick up this. And then we want to mirror to the other side using this point. So we got something like this. All right. Again, you can see they are not on the same plane. So I'm going to pick up all of this 
and let's go ahead to be on the top view and project it to C plane. On the data the input. So now it's flattened down. And now we can pick up everybody. I'm just go ahead to trim things that I don't need, like those extra there, those extra there, and we just need to join them. All right, so now we have this right here. With this one, let's go ahead to make them into the solid. We want to extrude it straight. And both are equal no. I just need to extrude it over that. Okay, so now let's go ahead to join this guy right here. And I might get it a little bit, I think it's a little bit too wide. Maybe I just need to have this just cover a little bit. Just want to make sure it's, it's intersect. It may not 100% fit. I should have to make it fit. But just want to show you how things is done. We are going to pick up this one. And again, we want to extrude it straight. This, this one, I want both are equal. Yes. All right. So it's symmetry. All right. So now we have this. We can go ahead to use the Boolean tool. You have the one that's called Boolean Intersect. So you can have this one and this one. So then you will have this one left. Okay. It looks pretty good here. All right. So I'm going to hiding those curves here so it's not bother us. And now we want to create the bottom of the ring shank. Right. So we need to have a profile first. I'm going to use the rectangle and going to snapping right here and snapping right here the same gonna snapping right here and snapping right there so then i have the curve there and i also have a two rail right there so we can use the sweep two rail and then i'm going to do this rail one do this rail two you're gonna go from this curve and to this curve that we create make sure they align to the same place and click ok all right now to make it more interesting, I actually wanted to have some facet there. You can also make this one and cut it off a circle if you want to half round. You just need to, let me show you. First of all, let's go ahead to make this solid. So we're going to use the cap command so they are solid. Second thing I wanted to do is to create a cylinder. And you can snap in right in the middle, snap in right here, and make it as long as you want, as long as they are covered. And then all we need to do is boolean difference, this guy out of this guy. So it look nicer, it's like rounded there. And let's go ahead to boolean union, this guy. So now it become like one single ring, right? To make it more interesting, I actually wanted to have this bevel edge looking because if you take a look on the render, they look really harsh, right? So what you wanted to do is actually bevel edges like chamfer edges and then one is fine let's give it a try and see if that is too tight here on the on that area it's actually not all right and then we're gonna do it one more time right here and that will be our double c ring for today's demonstration if you are new to the jewelry design and you want to learn 3d model for jewelry i highly recommend you check out my course not only i'll teach you everything from foundation that you need for jewelry design with the rhino 3d software i also offer the private group coaching which you can contact me directly with your questions from the course hope to see you in the course Check out the link below for the course information. Thank you, and I will see you next time.